What happens to us when we die? Will we have an encounter with the Creator? What is the soul? Where are heaven and hell? A favorite Baha'i analogy compares our life and spiritual progress on earth to the life and development of the fetus in the womb. The fetus spends about nine months in the womb preparing for entry into this world. During that period, it develops limbs, eyes, ears, and other physical features essential for its earthly existence. In the same manner, this terrestrial world is a place where each individual can acquire the spiritual means that are essential for existence in the next world. If a man possesses the knowledge of God, becomes ignited through the fire of the love of God, becomes the cause of love among mankind, and lives in the utmost state of sanctity and holiness, he shall surely attain to second birth, be baptized by the Holy Spirit, and enjoy everlasting existence. Death, or the decomposition of that body, will have no impact upon the life of the soul, which is not made up of matter. This indestructible substance continues to live eternally in the limitless realms of God. The main reason our soul goes through a physical existence on this planet is that it's so it can develop its spiritual potential. This is an eternal journey, starting here on Earth, and after, in physical death, continuing in the infinite spiritual worlds of God. Immediately after death, spiritually developed souls shall experience indescribable joy, whereas erring souls will be seized with fear and confusion. O Son of the Supreme, I have made death a messenger of joy to thee. Wherefore dost thou grieve? I made the light to shed on thee its splendor. Why dost thou veil thyself therefrom?